this game. Kyle is famous, obviously, from the title right here. You can see that. But uh, this is a game where controlling Kyle, this dude, he owns a famous, like, The Late Show talk show kind of thing. And you're interviewing someone today. So Kyle wakes up. He's famous. He's the host of a talk show called Stay Up Late with Kyle. Stay Up Late with Kyle has grown in popularity quickly. And inside is called Kyle, the most excellent dumpy white man. I don't know what that means, but talk top tech noticed it. Everyone noticed it. The eye of the world is upon Kyle. Tonight is Kyle's most important guest interview yet. Staying up late with Kyle will be featuring Rachel May. I don't know who the hell that is. She is a kind and lovely philanthropist. That's who she is, I guess they told me. <laughs> this interview requires preparation. Kyle cracked his hair, eyes open, knowing today is his last chance to prepare for the interview. Kyle has 30 hours left, and now we can start preparing. So... I personally don't want to wither away, because that just, just kills you. You exit the bed. Kyle exited his bed and took a quick glance around his bedroom. So, if this was a live stream, which honestly I might do, uh, I would let you guys choose. But no, I'm going to open my closet so that I don't leave naked and uh, choose an outfit. So, I do like the skunk pasties, you know, just, just having a skunk pasties on. The slick suit, you know, classic choice, but I'm going with a suit of armor. Kyle was unsure of what exactly caused him to decide to wear this armor, but it just felt like the right thing to do. After much squeezing and sweating, Kyle managed to wrap the metal suit around his dumpy self. Now instead of opening the closet again, because I already have clothes on, I'm just going to scavenge see what I can find. I don't want gossip, fuck that. I want bugs. Kyle started to pick between the fuzz of his bedroom carpet, hoping to catch a stray beetle or two. Soon, he had a small handful of various insects, dead and alive. I'm gonna save later for use. Kyle stashed the wriggling mass for later use. I don't know where the hell I put it, because it didn't tell me where I stashed it. Just kind of stashed it. Probably put it right in my underwear. Best place to stash bugs. Alright, I'm gonna sit at my desk and write notes for the interview. So, my first question, I'm gonna make it... Uh, you know what? I'm gonna make it good. I'm gonna make the first question good. Second question, I'm gonna make it a little bit comparable. Beef, master blended. Wait a minute. Ever eaten a raw egg hole? What's your funny story? Do you ever smile? I purposely ran over a puppy. Okie dokie then. Uh, what's your guilty pleasure? Do you feel guilty? Are you guilty? <laughs> yeah, I gotta go with that. Kyle ripped his page of notes up out of the book. Bah. Kyle ripped his page of notebooks. No, God. <laughs> Kyle ripped his page of notes out of the notebook and got it from the desk. Kyle made his way over to the desk and sat down. Go back to my room. Actually, I'm going to exit the hallway. Kyle walks into the small hallway that connects the rooms of his apartment together. And he walked into the kitchen. So, I already have bugs. That seems to be my source of food. I don't need the fridge. Wait, why am I in the kitchen then? Let's go leave my apartment. I'm gonna visit my downstairs neighbor. Kyle approached his downstairs neighbor and knocked. A middle-aged woman named Gabby answered the door. She looked at Kyle expectantly. Uh, I'm gonna greet and start a conversation with Gabby or scream and spin. Then there's also I could consume Gabby, which uh, fuck it. Kyle unhinged his jaw and swallowed Gabby whole. Good job, Kyle. Job done. Kyle walked out into the middle of the road and took a long, pondering look around him. I'm gonna go to the tech store. I have one hour, so I'm gonna steal Techno Gym. Quickly, before the attendant could acknowledge him, Kyle grabbed his. T <laughs> Kyle grabbed Techno Gym by the shoulders. Kyle hurried to the set. Sitting across from his host chair was a glamorous woman with an air of genuinity. As Kyle approached, oh god! As Kyle approached her, Rachel looked up and smiled. Good evening, Kyle. She said. Looking him in the eyes, I've been looking forward to being here. Kyle responded. Hmm, now, how do I respond to this? Do I answer politely, or do I scream and spin in circles? I think I'll be normal. And I as well, Rachel, answered Kyle, extending his hand in greeting. You are a most welcome guest. Shake hands. After our mild exchange of pleasantries, Kyle and Rachel were promote, or prompted to take their places for the broadcast. Bro, am I getting abducted by aliens? What's going on? 
A moment after seating, the studio lights brightened and the cameras clicked on. Good evening, everyone, said Kyle, looking at the camera. Welcome back to the Late Night Show with Kyle. Tonight, I have the pleasure of interviewing the lovely Rachel May, who needs no more introduction. Kyle motioned to Rachel, who smiled and waved at the camera. Hello, Kyle, she said. I'm glad to be here. I'm going to give her the same voice because I can't do voices. In response, Kyle collapsed on the floor. From a combination of stressful preparing and not eating anything, Kyle had passed out. What are you talking about, bro? I consumed my neighbor. I unhinged my jaw and ate her whole. How did I not eat anything? That makes no sense. Nobody in the studio quite knew what to do with him. They began to poke Kyle to see if he moved. After a while, they ended a broadcast, shut off the lights, and went home. Kyle was left face first on the floor. <laughs> Kyle prepared by starving himself. I ate my fucking neighbor. I did not starve myself. That's fucking insane. All right. Kyle's first decision was to exit the bed, open the closet, not go back to the bedroom. I just wasted an hour. Uh, I'm going to put on the jeans and swimming goggles this time. Kyle decided a fashion-forward casual style. He could barely see out of the goggles. Yeah. Yeah, I would assume, because you're not in the water, that you couldn't see out of the goggles. Kyle returned to the center of the bedroom. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to sit at my desk, write notes for the interview. I'm going to do the same ones. No, uh, no, I'm going to do different ones. Am I a mother? Uh, ever eaten a raw egg hole? What's your funniest story, and are you guilty? And Kyle ripped his page of notes out of the notebook before he got up from his desk and made his way back to his room exited the hallway and left his apartment just to visit the tech store and get techno gym quickly before the attendant could acknowledge him kyle grabbed techno gym by the shoulders finding that techno gym's cardboard feet were bolted to the ground kyle started to pull up his horse. after several thugs techno gym broke on the f broke free leaving one foot behind <clears throat> kyle glanced at the attendant who was staring bewildered and ran outside then he returned to his apartment, moved to the kitchen, opened the fridge, prepared breakfast, and ate. That, that, mmm, that was interesting. Kyle ate his breakfast and slowly and thoughtfully enjoying every bite, he felt refreshed. Kyle walked to the center of the kitchen. He returned to the hallway and then left the apartment. Kyle hurried to the set. Sitting across from the... I'm just going to skip this because I've already said this. Hmm. I'm going to save that for next time. Kyle responded, screaming in circles. No, I'm going to answer politely because I want to get to these notes that I wrote. And I as well, Rachel, answered Kyle, extending his hand in greeting. You are a most welcome guest. I just don't want to read this again. Introduce Rachel more. Now I'm motion to Rachel. Uh, I'm sure we'll have a lot to discuss, so we might as well dive right in. I'm very ready, said Rachel with a winning smile. Kyle produced the notes he had taken earlier. Kyle got the notes out of his pocket. Um, am I a mother? Rachel... Am I a mother? Kyle looked at her very seriously. Rachel was visibly very unsure of how to respond. Well, Kyle, I think you might be a better source of answering that question than I am. But do you think I'm a mother? Asked Kyle, pushing further. Rachel paused for a second before answering, I think you inspire youth to pursue STEM fields, she answered. Kyle asked another question. Rachel, are you guilty? Kyle threw his questions on the floor, stood up, and pointed at her. Rachel's eye twitched slightly. G guilty of what, dear Kyle? She smiled disingenuously. Guilty, spat Kyle, of your crimes! Uh, Rachel did not answer. Her eyelids both started twitching uncontrollably. Every in a raw egg hole? Asked Kyle. Um, shell and all? Kyle continued, I have. Like a lot. It's really bad, though. Sometimes I spit it up back out. There was silence. 
But but actually, it gets easier more the more as you do it. Continue, Kyle, without losing momentum. So don't start, I say. Rachel chose not to answer and looked in another direction. Kyle asked another question. What's your funniest story? You've been involved in a lot of different things, said Kyle, but what's your funniest story? Well, that's a great question, Kyle, said Rachel, after all the stupid, stupid questions and weird, weird shit that you've shared with me. Finally, one normal question. Thank you, Kyle. I think the story I always remember is the first time I tried to make dinner for my family. In the soup I made, I swapped out the water for milk and tipped the whole jar of salt into the pot. God, how do you... How do you switch the water? Why would you switch the water for milk? And how do you accidentally use all of your salt? While my family was sick for trying to eat it, I swiped their things and locked myself in my room. Rachel laughed elegantly. That wasn't... That's not funny. That... That's just... You stole from your parents after poisoning them. You, you poisoned your parents. After reading his final question, Kyle looked up from his paper. Well, Rachel, he said, <clears throat> I think that's all I was planning on asking you. If that's the case, Kyle, may I ask you something in return? Asked Rachel, smiling one more time. Why did you decide to wear swimming goggles today? Before Kyle could answer, the camera shut down. The broadcast was over. Kyle returned to all knowing the interview had gone well. But as he lay in bed and drifted to sleep, he felt that perhaps something was still missing. Kyle prepared very well. Huh. So, I've got two shit endings. I'm gonna get, like, one or two more endings. I'm gonna exit the bed, sit at the desk, check in the desk drawer, get the assorted change, back to desk. You know what? Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, I'm just gonna... Exit the bed, sit at the desk, check in the drawer, take the change. Because, you know, that might always be useful. You never know when you're going to... Oh, God damn it, I did it again! No! no! Oh, fuck, I clicked more. Oh, no, 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 no. This takes so long. <laughs> Come on, man. All right, sit at the desk, check in the drawer, take the change. Back to the desk. Back to the room. Exit the hallway, leave the apartment, visit the tech store. Tech Techno Gym! Techno Gym! Sorry, Techno Gym, you no longer have legs. Kyle glanced at the attendant who stared bewilderedly, and I continued with my day. Hmm. Oh, wait, I can't go back there now, because I stole Techno Gym. Fuck, I was going to buy something. Visit downstairs neighbor. More consume Gabby, you know. You always gotta consume something before you leave. Speaking of, move to kitchen, open fridge, prepare breakfast, and eat. Return to kitchen, return to hallway, leave a- God, I hate that sound. Why? Return to apartment, leave apartment. More. Kyle hurried to the set. Sitting across from her was Rachel. Rachel was here. One by one, the crew followed suit. Wait, what? Kyle was left all alone. Oh, I didn't put on any clothes. I was naked. Okay. Kyle prepared by being a nudist. Well, I was accidentally a nudist. <laughs> Skip. Skip. Exit the bed. Go to the closet. Choose an outfit. Do the slicky suit. Back to my room. Go to the desk. Check in the drawer. Get the assorted change. Back to the desk. Uh, back to the room. Just go to the hallway, leave the apartment, visit the tech store, ask for free samples. Ask the, Kyle asked the store attendant whether or not they offered any free samples to important customers. The attendant gave Kyle a confused look and slightly vacant look. Kyle began to beg for a free sample. Wanting Kyle to leave, the attendant grabbed a decrypt phone meant for spare parts and held it out. Grab with teeth. Kyle firmly clamped his mouth around the outstretched phone, <laughs> creating several teeth holes in the screen. Kyle grunted and yanked with his head until the attendant let go of the phone. The phone is now Kyle's to use forever. <laughs> what the fuck? Buy batteries with change. Kyle counted out 187, traded them for a small packet of batteries. Steel Techno Gym. Oh god, I haven't eaten. I have any. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Return to apartment. Return to apartment. Go to the kitchen. Open the fridge. Prepare the breakfast. 
eat. Oh, damn it. Interview Techno Gym. Kyle roughly shoved Rachel out of her seat and placed Techno Gym in her stead. Hello, Techno Gym, said Kyle. I'm going to interview you today. Kyle grabbed Techno Gym's hand and tried to shake it, but instead tore it off the cardboard frame. Kyle's producer, sensing viral media, pulled the bewildered Rachel out of frame and motioned to the crew to go live. Cameramen moved, lights flashed, and suddenly the studio was on air. Hi, I'm Kyle, said Kyle, and tonight I'm going to interview a very special guest. He pointed at Techno Jim using the dismembered arm. Using Techno Jim's own arm? Damn. Techno Jim started the smoke from the heat of the lights. Would you like to introduce yourself? Knowing Jim would probably not speak, Kyle took it upon himself to be his voice as well. Hi, Kyle, he said, <laughs> raising the pitch of his voice. My name is Rachel May, and I'm a very special guest. Rachel's expression of confusion turned to shock. Well, Rachel, you look way too thin and absolutely terrible. You should feel ugly. Kyle gave Jim a meaningful stare. Well, Kyle, he said, I sure wish I could look like you. Techno Jim burst into flames, of course, because why not? Instantaneously, the sprinkler system initiated, curtains of water poured down from the rafters. Within seconds, the production equipment was doused in water. The set was soon burst with electrical fires. Kyle's crew abandoned their post as cameramen, and sound mixers tried to put out the fires. As the crew scrambled around, the cameramen continued to run. Kyle sat motionless, standing, staring forward like a fucking SCP creature. Eventually, the fires were all put out. Kyle's producer shut off the broadcast, leaving Kyle's vacant stare as the final frame. Kyle's ratings skyrocketed. Techno Jim became a staple of the show, often ending up destroyed by the end of each episode, just like a sitcom. Although Rachel did not come back on the show, her cardboard portrayal, Rachel, was very popular. Kyle interviewed Rachel. Well, well, I think that is the perfect place to leave this very interesting episode off. If you enjoyed and want no, uh, want, want more of this which I don't know why you would. Let me know in the comments. But uh, other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.